Hey everyone, it's Jenny from Homestead Corner. Today I have 10 things not to do when disaster strikes. So major disasters can be many different things. We prepare for things that are likely in our area and a few other things usually. So major disasters can be many different things. They could be natural wildfires, flooding, hurricanes, tornadoes, things like that. We also have to worry about economic collapse, a civil war, things of that nature. Any of these things can happen pretty much at any time. So I just put this list together of 10 things that I think are important to ponder and think about and I think it's a really good idea. They can definitely make things more dangerous and more difficult for you during a disaster. So the first thing is don't panic. When we start to panic, it really dulls our senses and we don't think quite clearly and things like that. So I think it's really important to take everything in, take a breather and stick to your plan. Whatever your plan is for that disaster, stick to your plan. And if you need to take whatever time it is to just sit and think and clear your head, you wanna be able to really focus on what your plan is. Panicking is just going to make things worse. Number two, don't stare at the TV. When disaster strikes, all the news stations, they're constantly covering everything over and over and over. And just constantly bombarding yourself with that is not going to help anything. Get a good grasp on what's going on and then shut the TV off. Take, take some time to digest it, figure out what is the best plan of action here? You should have plans already in place for most disasters, but if it's something you're not really, haven't been thinking about, just take the time, figure out what plan you're gonna do, and do that. Sitting and watching that TV all day long, over and over, 24 seven, is just gonna drive you nuts. Number three, don't keep your family in the dark. Sometimes we want to protect the people we love and we don't want to tell them about horrible things that are happening But it's more important to keep them safe and if they know what's going on They're going to be able to step up and we can all work together that way If we're trying to hide this stuff from grandma because we don't want her to get upset She may have some ideas and skills that might be better than not telling her at all Number four don't try to be Rambo don't strap your guns on, your bandoliers, all your equipment, your tactical gear, and run out into the streets and try and protect the whole world. Don't try to do that. You're not going to help anybody. It's just going to draw attention to you. And the, when disaster strikes, we have to stay calm. You're going to want to keep your tactical gear right where it's handy, and you can get it at quickly if you need it. But don't be flashing it around and showing it off to everybody because it can just cause more trouble in the long run. You could become a target because of it. Number five, don't run out to the store immediately. If you see that something's going down on the news or you hear it on the radio, don't jump in the car and run to the store. Everybody else is gonna do that. It could be dangerous there. When it gets down to the last bottle of water and the last package of meat and the last bag of rice, stuff's gonna happen. People are gonna be frightened and they're gonna do what they have to do to survive. You should be preparing now, that way you don't have to run to the store if anything happens. Number six, don't let a disaster turn you into a criminal. Again, with the preparing now is the best thing to do. If you're not fully prepared and you feel like you have to go out and steal to get food, supplies, anything like that, then it's gonna just take you into the criminal level and that is no good. That's not gonna help you. And if you're out there trying to take someone's supplies, you're liable to get shot. That's not gonna help your situation either. Number seven, 
don't play the blame game. We don't want to play the blame game. When the disaster strikes, we need to stay focused. If you're, don't blame yourself because you're missing something, that's not going to help you at all. We all have little things that we might be missing. And when disaster strikes, they show up quickly. I could have done this, I should have done that. We need to not deal with that. We need to focus on survival. And don't blame others. You don't want to blame the neighbor, the government, some other government, you know, the people on the other side of the planet, the guy that lives downstairs. In the heat of the moment, it's really important to stay focused. Blaming someone, although it may be someone else's fault, whatever the disaster is. It may be someone's fault, it may not be. If there's blame to be had, you can do that later. Focus on survival and your plan. Number eight, don't neglect your basic needs. You have to take care of yourself. You need sleep, you need food, you need to take care of your hygiene. We have to take care of ourselves in order to take care of others. If you're gonna survive during a disaster, you've got to take care of you and then everybody else. Number nine, don't try to help everybody that shows up on your doorstep. It's really hard to turn someone away when you know they need help, but you have prepared for you and your loved ones, your friends, family, whatever you've prepared for, who you have prepared for. You can't help everybody. If the disaster goes into long term, if you we have a hurricane and you land up being with you know without power and no access to out of t out of your air neighborhood, then someone else is in that same boat. But if you're going to run out of food, you can't be feeding the neighbors and starve your own. You've got to take care of you. Help when you can, but you can help everybody. And number 10, this might be a hard one, don't despair. When disaster strikes, it's very easy to get depressed. Your whole world is turned upside down, but you need to keep hope. You need to have faith that everything is gonna be okay. As long as you're eating and breathing and doing everything you can to survive, there's still hope. You can get through this. We all can get through whatever disaster comes. So keep planning, stay on top of things, and you and your loved ones will get through the disaster. So that is my 10 things not to do when disaster strikes. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.